Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Whoop and welcome back to Minecraft Stone Block. When we last left off, we were making ourselves a dark room. Well, I've done a little bit of improvement to it. Uh, I added blocks like this, so that way I can get down here with the sword. And, you know, knock them around, smack them with the sword. I also added a door just to, like, I blocked it off because it was letting too much light in. But... I blocked it off over there so that way the light gets light levels in there could be, be dark. So, anytime I'm away from this area here, 16 blocks away, which is about from here, gives the creatures a chance to, to spawn in and do all the other stuff. So, today we're going to try our best to see if we can't get some uh, bone meal, which I found out after last episode. That there's actually a way to get bone meal other than killing skeletons, which, uh, if you sieve it, uh, let's see, where is that sieve? This one. If you sieve it, it come, you can get, uh, bone meal, 10% chance, uh, or a 15% chance, or a 20% chance, or a 24% chance when you sift dust. So, basically, between episodes, what I did is I grabbed a bunch of dust... And, uh, let's see, what did I do with it? Did I put it in this chest? Nope. What did I do with it? There we go. Between episodes, I got a lot of dust. What I did is I basically opened this room up here and, uh, used all the cobble that I got from there to, to make the dust. And then I grabbed the, I got some bone meal. So, we actually have bone meal now. So we can actually make that porcelain stuff that we needed. So let me find the clay. What did I do with it? Is it in this chest? Yeah, there we go. Grab this clay. We're going to convert it. So in order to make our porcelain, uh, let's say as an unfired, what is called unfired uh, crucible. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need seven porcelain clay. So it's one clay and one bone meal per porcelain clay. So that shouldn't be bad. So we have enough here. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. I'm not going to waste because our, our resources are limited at this moment, but soon, soon we'll get some good stuff. Anyway, we'll take this porcelain clay and we'll make ourselves an unfired crucible and then we'll fire it up. There we go. Now we got ourselves a crucible. Oh, okay. Yes, lava generation quest uh, start. And where was that? Right there. So we'll claim our reward there. So now we can get uh, go to the nether. Uh, or we can start doing cobblestone generator. Which is what I'm going to do. Because otherwise I'll spend hours and hours and hours and hours just going around. Mining all the stone around here just to get cobblestone. So let's work on getting a cobblestone or a cobble generator today. Because once we get a cobble generator, that's it. We're, we're good on cobble for... Basically the rest of the game. So we got an Ingvar hammer. Nice. Nice. So we'll throw this away in our, our junk's chest. So what we're going to do. We're going to grow. We're going to use this little area here. I'm going to put. Dig down one. Now I do want to see. Before we get started. Uh, torches level one. Lava's three. So once we get our first thing of lava. <clears throat> I think it would probably be prominent to switch it out. So first thing we have the ability to do is a torch. We'll put the that on top, and then we'll grab ourselves some cobblestone, and we'll throw, just like the water over there with the, the plant matter, we'll throw cobblestone in here, and it'll slowly, slowly, slowly make lava. Once we get our first lava block, though, we should be able to get some more, uh, some more stuff. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take some more of, of this. I'm going to grab seven more pieces, and I'm going to make two. Um, so that way we can have, you know, ample, ample lava generation. And I don't, I'm out, oh, I'm out of clay. All right. So what we'll do is we'll need to get some more dust. Shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, so let's do five. There we go. Where's my hammer? There it is. Uh, and we'll do that. And then we'll grab our... Gravel. And we get this hammered up. The dirt. Get this hammered up. The sand. 
And this goes into dust, and then we can put this dust in there and grab us some clay. And then what we could do is let me find my bucket. I think I put it in there. Nope. Let's see, what else? Where, 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 where? Where'd my bucket go? Uh-oh. Uh, did I put it in my bag? Probably. Yeah, there we go. There's the bucket. And then what we'll do is we'll just, uh, refill all of these. And ready for the next iteration. And uh, we can grab our dust here. There we go. Grab some more. Fill it up. There we go. Uh, so I put this in here that way if I ever lose it, we'll have an extra, extra thing of, of water. Should be able just to do this. There we go. And seven more porcelain clay. Actually, okay, apparently I made enough for two. Not a problem. Not a problem. And then we'll fire these up. And boom. Got two more. And then we'll put a torch here, a torch here, and put it there and there, and then we'll fill it up with cobble. There we go. And this has a little bit left. It's, it's not, not there yet. Uh, so what we'll do is before we get to that point, we'll make another bucket. Uh, didn't need that many. There we go. Make another bucket, so we're going to have a, a lava bucket and a water bucket. So that way, if we ever get needing them, we can. So while that works, let's look at seeing what we can do as far as getting further into the story, uh, or the questing. So we can't really go to the nether just yet, because we're going to need to make some flint and steel. I mean, we can make the flint and steel, and I'm pretty sure we can get... Let's see, let's grab a piece of... Uh, Grab a piece of iron. Grab a piece of flint. I think it's just this. Yeah, flint and steel. There we go. Now we just need to make obsidian. Alright, so how do we make obsidian? Comes from loot bags. Okay. Um, lava. Let's see. What? Chisel? Nope. Uh, on fluid top, there we go, X nylo. So if we put lava in a in a stone barrel with water on top, apparently it makes obsidian. So do we have? I remember making a stone barrel, or at least I think I no, I made accidentally made a wood barrel. So let's see what we can't make about uh we can do about making a stone barrel. What is a stone barrel? It's just uh oh, that's that's really easy. So it's just cobble surrounded by that. Oh, uh, it must it must need um, stone, straight up stone. So we'll do that. There we go, stone barrel. Awesome. We'll put that uh, put that right there. I guess this will be our barrel corner. I, I imagine. So we need to put some lava in there, which we're still waiting on that. And it's just like level one, times one is so slow. It's really, really slow. And it's de it's to the point where you'll probably be like, ah, but we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. This is almost there. It's almost there. All right. So we can work on more quests while we're waiting. Uh, we need a cobblestone generator, which we need a bucket of water and a bucket of lava mob farm. Uh, so we need 12 rotten flesh. That shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, I think I've got... A good deal of that. Uh, it might be over here. Yeah, we've got nine pieces of rotten flesh. We've got three bones. Haven't met any Endermen yet. Uh, but we did get a lot of loot. Uh, that's, this is a proof of concept that it works. Uh, I've also, I think I've opened a couple of loot bags as well. We got some punji sticks. Uh, but we're just waiting for... The loot to happen but i mean if we do need more bone meal or anything like that we can we can worry about that in the future because once we start getting um the drops of evil we can make a proper dark room and then that we really don't have to worry about it i may even move the dark room from there to 
like a room off to the side so that way we have more room to expand out this way or i'm not really sure how i want to do this uh expansion uh, do i want to make like rooms off of rooms i mean i imagine i do it will just have like a little catacomb type situation going on i like that idea I have one room designated for power generation one room pet designated for you know storage of items etc 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 all right you're almost done all right so let's look back let's get into tinkers that should that should tide us over while we're waiting on lava uh so tinkers tools are special tools that can be upgraded also have special features and a lot of different kind of tools all right so let's make ourselves a stencil table so let's see at tinkers and the tables yeah the stencil table right there so it's a blank pattern which is just wood and sticks that shouldn't be too difficult wood and sticks we'll get some more sticks so it's uh let's get one two three four that should work so that should be like what that should be good for now and then it needs what a uh, piece of wood yeah we got that there's one and then what else do we need we needed the where's it at wow tinker's got a lot of pieces I'm trying to remember I'm trying to remember what all we needed um tool station okay so let's look up tool station there's tool station so it's a crafting table with one of those pieces all right so let's grab this make a crafting table with one of you there we go got a tool station so little by little we're getting our pieces so tool station complete now we need a part builder so let's look up part builder and okay it's just a piece of wood with one of these good thing we have wood there we go there's the part builder then we need four blank patterns which we have then we need a patterns chest and a parts chest so let's look it up so at tinkers chest there we go so pattern chest just needs a chest with the pattern or wood around a pattern piece. Either way, it, it, it comes out to be the same thing. So let's uh, do this. Oop. We have parts chest. And then, or that's a pattern chest. And then parts chest. So it's a chest with two sticks, a piece of wood. All right, so we'll need another chest with this uh we need some sticks piece of wood and that there we go we should have all of it right yeah claim reward and we got a flask of adrenaline oh nice nice and you will go in here so i think what we'll do is we'll make this room that i opened up uh to, to get all the cobble we needed to make those porcelain dudes we'll just come through here and uh we'll do this a tool station part builder and then i'll put uh let's break this break this there we go we'll put the what's that part builder we'll put the parts chest i think no 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 that's the patterns chest i think we'll put the part builder there and then we got our materials in you, which is awesome. And then we'll put the part builder there, or parts chest there. Yeah, we got the pattern chest. Uh, I don't know what what we need to do with the part chest. I, I, I just don't know. Because I haven't played the upgraded version of Tinkers. The last time I played Tinkers, it was very, very simplistic. And this one's a little bit more complicated. So we did get all the stuff. So we got stencil table part builder okay so what i do want to do is i want to make a uh a, a, a actual crafting table a crafting station and we're going to put the crafting station right there i don't know that's it's not really much different but 
We're gonna put one in here over here. Yeah, put it in here. So crafting station. And then we'll have the, the t stencil table, tool station, and then part builder. That should... Okay, so the part builder doesn't have access to a chest. So maybe these, these two need to be reversed. I don't know, but we'll put our excess blank patterns in there. I don't really want to make any part, anything yet. I mean, we could. We could technically make a, uh, a stone pickaxe, which in theory should be good. I mean, we can actually look in the materials in U book and see, uh, was it uh, tool materials? We can go stone. I think a stone is a viable option. I know cobblestone is. There we go, stone. So that would make uh, cheapskate stone is bad. Your tool has less durability, which not good. But we can we can up our tools and things of that nature. But I think we've done tinkers in the past, so I'm not really going to focus too much on tinkers. Uh, speaking of tinkers, I want to make a, a a nifty little thing. Make a drying rack. Actually, make a couple. And what I like to do is hang the books on the drying racks, and then we'll have something there, uh, just in case we need we need something else hanged up there. So yeah, that's kind of cool. And then we can actually build ourselves a foundry in there because I imagine we're going to use the foundry a lot more than we would actually use the part builder and things because you mix alloys together uh, and all that good stuff. So all right, so now that we've done that, is our lava ready? Yes, we've got one lava available. And what we'll do is we'll put some more, put some more cobblestone in you guys. I hear our creatures are in there. Hello, creatures. Hi. 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 Oh, oh, he got me. He got me. Uh, I might need to, to shrink it down a little bit so that way they don't have very much room to walk. But yeah, we're 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 good. We're good. All right, we're good. So now that we've got lava, we can actually take our water and we can make ourselves a cobblestone generator. Level one cobble gen. Yes, uh, we'll need a piece of glass. So that shouldn't be too difficult to make. Get our piece of there. And then turn it into dirt. Turn the dirt sand and we'll throw the sand in here there we go got our piece of glass so now we can make our cobblestone generator and we keep the buckets which is awesome because then all i gotta do is yoink and yoink and then we have one water bucket one lava bucket and we can technically make another cobble gin if we needed to but uh, i'll see i'll see how it goes uh, we also got the quest complete for that. And we're going to go all the way down the entirety of the list of this as we get the uh, as we get the uh, ingredients and the materials. So let's see what we get. Ooh, a growth crystal. Slow growth. Works in a 9 by 9 farm. Check up to, uh, checks up to two blocks up or down. Ooh, we might actually need to start making a farm. Speaking of... While getting uh, the, the sand or the dust and getting the uh, bone meal yesterday after uh, between episodes, uh, I got a lot of seeds from doing all this. So, yeah, I think what we'll do is I will um, want to clear out this little area. Here's another, another little thing I did. I went just in a long corridor here just to get... Some cobblestone, because we I needed a lot of cobblestone. Uh, speaking of, I can actually put this... Uh, can we make a drawer? Can we make a drawer? Is it that hard to make a drawer? No, it's not hard at all. We just need a couple pieces of wood. Need a chest. Chest with this. This. Yeah, get ourselves a drawer. Awesome. So what we'll do is we'll put this... Put it right there for now. 
Uh, actually, no. I put it there. Uh, where can I put this? Right here. Let's just put this right here for now. It's not going to be its permanent home, but it'll be there. And it can just start uh, collecting cobblestone for us. Speaking of, can we go ahead and upgrade it to the next tier? We actually can upgrade it to the next tier, so let's do that. All it needs is just a little bit of iron, and if I have to spend a little bit of off-camera time, uh, you know, getting our iron supply back up, I will. So there we go. Iron, what's next? Blaze rod? Uh, what uses for this? It's diamonds. Okay, so diamonds is next. Well, that's not too bad. And then, not to mention, that gives us another quest complete for the cobblestone gen 2, and we get another chest. And another Ingvar hammer. So we'll put our Ingvar hammer away. But uh, this should continually get us some cobblestone, so we really don't have to go mining for cobblestone anymore. So that's that's a cool thing about it. And then anytime we need to craft with it, we got it right there. Okay, so let's put our growth crystal away for now until we get our... Uh, so one, two, three. And give me just a second to uh, build, you know, clear out this room. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, all right, we got ourselves a little room here, and it's all lit up, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this cobble that we just did, and um, we're going to turn it into some dirt, uh, so that way we can actually get ourselves a farm up and running. So hopefully we can do that today, I, it looks like we do have the ability to do so. There we go, We've got some dirt, and if we need more, we can always make more, so what I'll do is I'll just dig out the floor, and then replace, replace it with this, and because of the room size I made, it's, it's an interior of a 7x7, seven seven. so it should, I only should need two water sources, technically, two water sources, in order to uh, get the entirety of this room. I take, also, I may even just need one. We'll have to see. Because the water goes three blocks. Yeah, no, we only need one water source. How cool is that? So we'll just need a water source there. So let's make us a bucket. Grab three iron, which we already have on us. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. Another bucket. Grab us some water. And boom. Bulb's your uncle. All right, we're going to need a lot more, a lot more. And I have a feeling this is about to break. Yep. That's all right. We can make more. We have the ability to do more. Have the technology. There we go. 13. That should be good. I should probably make a... A room to make this in but once I make it it will probably have the ability uh, at the time that I make the room I probably will just have the ability to make uh, the auto sieving option because speaking of auto sieve let's see just just take a little sneak peek how how much is this gonna cost us that's it a block of iron three glass four, four glass panes Dude, really? Are you serious? 
If it doesn't require power, that would be awesome. Um, let's try getting into, I mean, well, we have, we have the quest progression for a reason, and I don't think we're, no, we're not there yet. We're not there. Yeah, it requires diamond mesh. So we need to get iron mesh first, which I think we have the ability to do now, but we'll work on that next episode. D to this episode, I want to get the farm up and running. We've got the cobble gin. Now we just need a farm, so that way we can secure ourselves a source of, of food. Because right now we're just eating apples that I've, <laughs> I cut off the trees. Which I haven't grew grew a tree in a couple episodes, so uh, more dirt. And then boop 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 boop. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna need a lot more, but I can work on this little by little. Which is not that big of a deal. So the next thing we need is we're going to need ourselves a hoe. That way we can uh, till this farmland. Go ahead and get some of this stuff planted. Hello. Yeah, thank you. All right, so we'll start harvesting this, or getting all this hoed up. All right. So let's look at our seed options and see kind of what we have. So we've got rice seeds, which we're going to need slime balls for. So that's a definitely yes. Canola, yeah, we can we can do without canola for now. Uh, sugar cane, yes, we're going to need sugar cane. Potato seeds, uh, potentially. Carrot seeds, potentially. Coffee seeds, potentially. Uh, melon seeds, yeah, we'll have to make a special farm for the melons, but yeah, we're gonna definitely need those. Flax seeds will get us string, so we don't have to grow trees anymore. Beetroot, uh, pumpkin seeds, again, like the melon seeds, we'll have a special farm for. And then grass seeds, which I don't know what to do for. So right now, rice and flax and sugarcane, that sounds like a pretty good combination of plants. So let's, let's see, can we divide this up? Like this. How's this do? Did I do good? I have an extra. And then sugar cane I'll put over here. Oh, really? Um What do you how do you plant sugar cane needs sand? Uh can we turn you into sand? Is that what this is? I've put sand there, sugar cane going there. Oh, look at that. How nifty is that? All right, so is there a way I can... Okay, I got that seed back. That's good. Rice seed. What we'll do here is put that there. We'll put sand there with some sugar cane in the middle. Yeah, we'll get, get this seed back. Plant this over... Um, over there. We have any more sand? Nope, we're going to need one more piece of sand. Let's do this. There we go. Actually, we'll need two more pieces of sand. So we'll just do like this. That, convert it. And plant, plant. All right, so we got sugarcane plants. I didn't know that that worked like that. That's pretty cool. I actually like that. And we've got two sugarcane seeds left over. And now we got a bunch of flax. So we'll put a we'll put our flax seeds over here. And we'll keep going this way, which I'll need some more dirt. Which is not a big deal, because we can make dirt all day long. Uh let's just we can actually make dirt in this hole. Get our hammer. There we go. Get our Gravel. And then get our dirt pieces. And we'll grab our hoe again. I think that'll connect. Hopefully. Maybe. Maybe I just need to get a, a piece of dirt really fast. Probably leave... Yeah, we should probably leave that, that open. Yeah, like that. There we go. And then we can put flax seeds there. 
And if we get any more flax seeds or anything like that, we can put continue it on down here. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we only need eight more pieces. Not too bad. There we go. Eight. Eight. There we go. And then we'll grab this and we'll have a completed farm. Awesome. So now we have our food growing. Uh, and I think we can actually put that... Uh, we can actually make good use of that growing crystal that we just got from our our, our chest, um, our, our loot chest. So let me go grab that. Put that over here. Loot chest. Yes, growth crystal. It's slow, but it's better than nothing. And what we'll do is, uh, it, does, it says it does in our 9 by 9 Yeah, so I want to put it like dead middle right here. There we go. Have our water on top of it. Don't know how fast it'll go. It says slow growth, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's probably better than anything that we have going on right now. So put those seeds away. We really don't need these at the moment. And we've got a bunch of other stuff we could plant now, uh, like potato. Let's get, us, let's get us some potatoes. We actually have room. So one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more spots to fill up. I want to make sure that this room gets filled. And if I have to make another uh, another area for, for farming and growing things, I'm going to have to anyway for the pumpkins and the, water, uh, the melons. So I'll probably make like a little room off of this over here just to make, to have like a row of, of things. I might even uh, get some more sugar cane, get like a de dedicated farm to sugar cane once we get this all set up so yeah and then we'll have one room for growing and then one room for sugarcane and one for melons actually you could put the the sugarcane and the melons together because they, they have a potential to grow in in weird ways but anyway anyway uh, so much stuff got done today and i'm super super happy about that let's see did we get any rewards from any of that no that's okay, though. That's okay. So, anyway, thank everybody so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, please do remember to give it a big thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or any tips, tricks, or anything that you would like me to build in the future, please let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, thank you again so much for watching, and until next time, see you later.